Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rabbi Cass. I'm a cipher in Muncie, New York. You can find me online at sofercenter.com. Assuming you're making, uh, assuming you're putting up the, the mezuzah in a place that requires a bracha, you're gonna make the bracha. So, what is the bracha? The bracha is Baruch Atah Hashem Alekinu Malach Elam. Ashir Kedishanu Bemitzvaisa Vitzivanu Likboa Mezuza. Now, I didn't say Hashem's name. If you want, I'll put in the description the actual blessing over there, and uh, you'll be able to read it from there. Now, it's important to realize that. Not all doors require a blessing. So when you're putting up your house of mezuzahs, the first door typically that people do will be the front door. Now, what you do is you make a bracha on the front door and you have in mind the rest of the mezuzahs in the house. Um, and you try not to make any interruption from when you made the blessing on the front door until you finish all of them. Um, now, it's a common misconception that mezuzahs only actually have to go on the front door. Now the truth is they have to go on all of the doors because if you look in the pasuk it says mezuzais beisacha the doorposts of your house which is a plural every single door needs to have a mezuzah aside from there are some exceptions um, like a bathroom and things like that and certain sizes of the rooms also can um, negate the fact but again these are these are you have to talk to your rabbi or sofer to figure out if that particular room needs a mezuzah obviously mezuzahs will never need but there's sometimes questions you have you know rooms before mezuzah uh, you know where sometimes people are dressed, sometimes they're not dressed. All of these have to be, you know, taken into consideration, and you have to ask your rabbi. If, but again, all the halachas, the, the laws that we're describing right now, are assuming you know that this door needs a mezuzah. How high do you put the mezuzah? So again, that's something also you need to verify. Depending on the door, there are circum there are circumstances where this where this will change. But generally speaking, I'm only mentioning this because I've seen I've seen people make the mistake, like on kids' bedrooms, where they want the, the child to be able to reach it. So they put the mezuzah like lower, halfway down, halfway down in order for the child to be able to reach it. Um, and that's obviously not kosher because we know that generally speaking, the mezuzah cannot go lower than, um, it, the mezuzah cannot go, I'm not going to say generally speaking, the mezuzah should not go lower than the bottom of the top third. Uh, so let's say an average door is uh, uh, 80 inches <clears throat> on average. It means the bottom of the mezuzah should not go lower than 26 inches, which by the way is already considered low. Um, and I know, because I I put up mezuzah so often, that when I'm standing in a doorpost, my shoulder comes to about about 23 inches from the top of the door. Okay, so if now I put up this makeshift uh, post over here just to give you an idea, because we're going to be discussing putting up the mezuzah, the height. So imagining this is a proper door, obviously, um, this is the doorpost over here. So it, 26 inches would probably be somewhere around here which is already considered quite low now some people they they want to put it you know by the bottom of the top third exactly by the bottom of the top third and by a kid's bedroom that's what I would do if somebody wants it to be as much as possible within reach for the child but um, I'll see sometimes like door steps let's say front doors or sometimes from the garage to the house you have like a step down or a step up and people they they work the measurement and they're not measuring properly, but they, they know the general height of the mezuzah, and then they're putting it up exactly at the bottom of the top third, but because they're standing a step down, one second. Because they're standing a step down, then the, the mezuzah ends up being, ex, instead of exactly at the bottom of the top third, it ends up being a couple of inches lower. Now, that's not uncommon. Very often when I come to a front door that has a step up, or a garage to the house that has a step up, um, I'll find that if somebody was trying to be specific, putting it exactly at the bottom of the top there, I will find that mezuzah to be a couple of inches too low. So because of that, because of that, when I'm putting up mezuzahs, I always I always follow the shoulder height rule, which means if I'm coming to my doorpost like this, I'm always going to put the mezuzah about an inch about an inch or so above my shoulder, which will which will probably put the mezuzah about. The bottom of the mezuzah should be about 22 inches from the top of the door, assuming you're on an 80 inch door. So again, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Another video coming out real soon and stay tuned.